Alright guys, so welcome back to CLRP. Um, this didn't really happen how I kind of wanted it to happen. I kind of planned for it differently, but it's a life RP server, things change all the time. So, Daco uh, Dakota who plays Katie, which is currently Shannon's foster child that she took in, uh, ran away from home, we've just found her. Um, so unfortunately I didn't get to record that or anything. But, Shannon's put her house on the market, so that's up for sale. Um, and Shannon actually has brought a new house and we're currently going to show Katie the new house, her new room, to try and make her feel more welcomed and stuff like that. Um, it wasn't quite meant to happen like this, but it's how it's happening. So we're currently heading to um, the new place now. So it's going to be, it's probably not going to be very action packed at all. It's probably going to be quite boring for some people, but you know, it's life RP. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you once we get to the new house, which isn't too far away from here. Alright guys, we're just up, well sorry, we're down the road from the house, um, it's Michael's house in story mode, uh, the reason I'm buying this house um, is because it has more rooms that are interiors and stuff than the house up in the hills. The house up in the hills suits more a single person, currently Sarah has her own house but she lives with us half the time, and we've got Katie, so I was trying to find a bigger house with more bedrooms, so um, this fits the lifestyle of Shannon and the wealth factor and all that, so it's kind of worked out really well. So, yeah, here we are. Oh, I forgot to ask Sarah, did you end up getting that new job? Uh, yeah, I did. You got it? Yep. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Dad and Mum would be proud. Thanks. More proud of me, though. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Where? Hop out, Katie. Um... Follow me. So currently my house has been for sale for a while. Just no one really knew it because I didn't really advertise it heavily, which it's still for sale, but... Uh, I was in the market for a new house, so I brought this. Um, we'll, we'll do downstairs last. Um, Katie, this is your new room. Go ahead, go and check it out. Uh, you'll be getting, this room probably needs a little bit of work and a paint job, but, you know, you can stay here. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, thank you. This, this might make her feel a bit more welcomed. Yeah. I think you need a new bed. Yeah, I think the, I think the last time owner took it. Oh. Huh. I don't mind sleeping on the floor. What do you think, Katie? You happy to have this room? This is a different specific or, or is like the goth style more your style? Because I mean, Sarah likes pink things, so she might. It's up to you. Because there's this room over here with a bigger TV. I mean, you have to work it out with Sarah, but there's this room as well. To me, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Part of the house now.
Make it a little creepy. Alright, we'll take our hat off the beanie, I should say. It's honestly up to you which room you want. It doesn't matter. That's something you guys can pick. It's, it's fine. Nope, we're not picking. Your decision, Katie. Let's go. Best thing about growing up is making decisions for yourself. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's alright. That's it's a bit of a process, you can choose later. Come on. Uh, Sarah, spare key for you. One key for you. Alright, so this way, left, the door left of me is to the garage, kitchen, dining room, and the lounge room. And there's also a, a tennis court and a pool. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, it's it's very elegant. It's one of the reasons I chose it. Yeah, it's nice and when it's not negative. We just needed more. Yeah, I know. And we just needed more room. Yeah. What do you think, Katie? I'm gonna say I'm certainly something different. Did you say this family it's something different? different? I've been. Everything's different. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Weird Henry family, I guess. Um, so we'll probably start packing up the other house and we'll move down here tomorrow with the rest of the stuff, okay? Okay. Alright, let's head home. Oh, and by the way, Katie, Kimmy, she's staying. The, that police officer you met, actually, her name's Kimmy. I don't know if she told you, but she's she's staying up at the other house for now, too, because she got, you know, she's got issues. Yeah, I'll say. Oof. It's like, it's like my house up there has become, you know, for everybody. It's like the pub. Local pub now. Oof. Oh god, that's the first thing I'm packing is the wine. Not if I beat you to it. Oof. Oh jeez. Oh, and Katie. Uh, yeah? You ever pull a stunt like you did today and run away from the house and don't answer your phone and stuff and I'll take your cell phone away from you and I'll take your bike away, do you understand? Yeah. Good. Okay. No one's getting rid of you. No one's doing anything, okay? We all care and that's the reason, you know, you're here. Did you lock the door? Uh, no, I didn't actually. Yeah. You want to lock the house, Katie? Yeah, my God. I think she likes it. I think so too. It's a nice house. Hmm, it is nice. Sorry, someone's texting me. It's probably Kimmy. She probably wants more wine. Oh. Oh, she just asked if everything's okay. Uh, 
Everyone just walks around on their cell phones these days. Yeah. Is Kimmy at the house or? I I don't know. She I don't know if she's still on, at work or not. Um, if she is, though, I'll give her my room. She can stay in my room, and I'll sleep on the couch. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Are you going to your place tonight, or are you staying as well? Uh, I'll be staying as well. My place has many yep. holes in it. Oh, uh, uh, is it still being renovated? Yeah. Ugh. I tried putting in a new, like, center beam to make it more, like, open concept, but the house relied on the old one, so now I need to, like, redo the full, like, base of it. Uh, it's um, even more money. Yeah. I think I make six figures. <laughs> <laughs> Just a better sister now. Is this guy drunk? Probably. We are at the tequila. Oh god. Alright guys, we're just pulling up at the main house. Um, just a... I guess we're gonna find out if Kimmy's here. Yeah. Um, just to clarify, so... Kimmy actually rang me before no this video, just. And, um, she asked if she could just stay here for a few nights because she got an eviction notice from her apartment and she just needs to sort some stuff out, so... She's currently staying here as well, but that's okay. She can live here while we move down there, and then she can have this house to herself until I sell it. So, um, yeah. That is that. Are you going to turn your car off, or are you leaving it going? Oh, I forgot you have one of those push Oh, I do it with my... Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I do. I, I always forget mine has that option too, but um, I'm so used to the patrol cars. Um... Uh. Because they cheap, you know? Yeah. I need, I need a sandwich or something. I'm starving. Yeah. Where did she go? I don't know. I need a glass of water as well. Oh, there's leftover. There's leftover pasta if you want some from yesterday. No, I just had that sandwich that I had for lunch that I didn't finish. Thanks, though. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll make sure she's okay. You okay, Katie? Just need to sit down. I hate having to go through these seat armchair. Yeah, we'll try that. You want to tell me what's what's the issue though? Like the bigger issue. Talk about what's what's on your neck. No one noticed that until now. What was that? Did you not notice that until now? I noticed it, but I didn't want to bring it up because I was hoping you might have talked about it. But you obviously you're not going to tell me, so I'll ask. Got to get comfortable for this. Just one of the permanent reminders that my mother gave me. 
You want to speak up a little bit? That's just one of the permanent reminders that my mother gave me. So, it's not really a tattoo, it's more like a brand. Mm, yeah. No, um, it's not the one. Mm -hmm. And what did, what did you get that for? Oh, you must be once or three. That's pretty much the end of it. What was that? So we'll put it here, we'll put it this way. You made a mistake once in her house, that was gonna be the end of it. So what if you made a mistake, mistake you got punished? Um, I'm pretty sure that's more than just a basic punishment. But tall as you will. Okay, where was your dad? Yeah, about that. You can trust me. Whatever you say is going to stay between you and I. You're not going to be kicked out or anything, um, Katie. There's nothing to be afraid of. But I can't help you and Sarah can't help you and stuff if, you, if you're not willing to open up a little bit and tell us what's going on. Just say I never knew my father. Put it that way. So you've you've never ever met your father. No, I no, not really. Not my biological one. I haven't. Was he just? He was never there since you were born, or he was there for a bit and then gone, or what do you mean? If he was there, I don't remember him. You don't know his name or anything? I never was told. Where's your mum? Biological one, I... This point beats me. Because who I've been told was my biological, I don't know. Your biological mum's the, the one who gave you the branding? Mm-hmm. Katie, the, the thing about growing up and becoming a lady and an adult is you have to take responsibility for yourself and you have to grow up and you have to you have to trust people and you're going to get hurt sometimes and sometimes you're not going to get hurt. It's part of growing up, but the, the, at the end of the day, we all go through stuff, every single person, and some people get it worse, some people get it easier, um, but it's it's choices and you're getting a second chance right now, okay? You're not alone. Well, like the deputy that unfortunately you have to come back here apparently. Like a time, I guess it's just a factor that it hasn't really become like not one I can fully give in to trusting people. I didn't say it happens overnight. It takes time. I have trust issues too. But it's just life, unfortunately. But you're strong enough to fight through it. How do you know that one? What was that? How do you know that one? That you're strong enough to fight through it. Because you're stubborn, you're pig-headed, you don't open up. You kind of you you're not like Sarah at all. She she probably she probably would have killed herself by now. Let's be honest. She's she's a bit of a wimp. Let's see, kind of just listen. The bad things, pretty much. That's pretty much got me in trouble. What was that? And just kind of listed the things that basically got me in trouble. The bad qualities. No, I mean, I never said they were they were good things, but I mean, if you use them correctly, they can be good things. 
I'm I'm pig headed. I'm stubborn. I I have an issue with authority. I I um I'm similar to you in in ways. I mean, it's just it's just how you how some of us are. Sarah doesn't like conflict. I'm happy to have conflict. Sarah, everyone's different. Like you can notice it between me and Sarah. Me and Sarah are really nothing alike. No one's alike. Not fully. But with the traits that you have, then they're, they're not bad qualities. They're not flaws. They're flaws if you use them incorrectly and, you know, do the wrong thing, but they can be an asset. You just gotta learn to use them in the correct way. I just don't know how to do that. Do you think I know how to do that? I just wing it. You just gotta know what's right from wrong. And deep down you know what's wrong and you know what's right. Because you obviously knew you did the wrong thing and that's why you ran away earlier during the night. I just didn't know you were going to take that. What was that? I just didn't know how you two were going to take that idea. What, you running away or that you'd been stopped and spoken to by police about five times in the past couple of days I've been away? In the second one. The other half of it. Well, I'll be honest, I wasn't very happy trying to have do my job and doing other things and getting phone calls all the time saying that you're doing this and you're doing some things that you shouldn't be and that you're swimming or you fell in a river or something while it's snowing that's not great uh, I mean wasn't thrilled about some things that I was hearing uh, especially when I heard today that you were down at the strip club and on Grove Street but I mean it's nothing to run away from home for I was kind of expecting something out of that, but... I, n I never said I was done, so why why were we at the strip club? Because I was told that you were doing tricks. Well, they told you right. What was that? Said they told you right. So you were down there doing tricks. I really hope it was magic tricks or some sort of legal trick i hope it wasn't like prostitution or something which is the hint that i was no, getting no 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 not that kind. that how do you consider that a trick oh it's it can be it's it's a trick no so you were doing some but sort of magic trick or something were you i i wish i knew how to do magic but i don't no this bike tricks Doing bike tricks at the Vanilla Unicorn, a strip club. Not in. No, not that stupid. Well, that's good to hear. So, why were you down on Grove Street? More bike stuff. And who were you hanging oh. out with? Was I? Was I? Down on Grove? Who were you hanging out I with today? I remember going past the Vanilla Unicorn. I mean, some, I saw Tom out there again, but... Did you hang out with him, or did you stay him. away from him? No, I wasn't with him. Okay, so you, you were out doing tricks all by yourself. There was no one else riding a bicycle with you. No, not with me, no. Okay. This bit is the kind of the talk, I guess, is... Grove Street isn't a good area. It's not somewhere you want to be hanging out, okay? To be honest, anywhere down that area of the city is a no-go. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. 
And if you're hanging out with people who keep hanging out down there and taking you down there, then they're the people I'd be trying to stay away from. Okay. Alright, go and get some sleep, because that's what I'm doing. You okay? Yeah. Alright. Good night. Oh, I was going down there to take my gun off my hip. Oh. You okay, Sarah? Uh, yeah, I'm just... The neurosurgeon on call is sick and they're asking me to come in. Oof. What is it? One forty in the morning? God. Yeah. Well, when you're a doctor, you work at oh, all I know, so. I know, I know. Okay, I work all times of the day as well. It's not fun. No. I know. Well... I'm going to bed because I'm about to drop dead. Alright, well, I'm yeah. heading out. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Good luck. Be safe. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Sorry guys if, you've, if you can hear like the loud sort of buzzing of cars going past. I've had to open the window because it's obviously summer where I live and it's hot. Which means I can hear every car that goes past, so, you know. Uh, we are going to... Actually, I should be able to just do E dead. Slash E, D, E, A dead. Yeah, we're dead. We're just going to lay on, this, on the um, couch. Um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, this bit of life RP that we just did. A bit of... It's a bit more story. You guys found out stuff that may have been edited out in prior videos and stuff that you maybe may or may not normally see, so... Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out.